And hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to episode three of Spyro, where we are starting to explore the second world, Peacekeepers. Welcome to Peacekeepers. <laughs> Look how our treasure has been stolen oh. and turned against us. Please. This is the world where our okay. where our enemies start they, attacking they... us. <laughs> Okay, they, they gave Titan the wrong name. He should have been called Daddy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, Edgy. Oh, so D-pad, there is something I did cut off in the second episode yeah. about the um about the end screen. Yeah, yeah. So go yeah. ahead and explain that. I'm gonna point that out. Um because, you know, we really like I'm the one that does like most of like the designs for like the art stuff that you see, like the uh logo that you see that was me <laughs> the, uh yeah but the the picture that uh you you used at the end of the last like the first video that was done by me <laughs> just yeah. wanted to point that out like i think honestly i think my skills like that of that are just getting a little bit better honestly yeah 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 i'm still learning like i'm trying i mean i i, I still hope i still hope to one one of these days you know, have dedicated artwork. Unfortunately, art is expensive. Yeah, well, like I said before that, my one friend is open for commission, Edgy. Yeah, but you're, you're a one friend, it's not my friend. And no one's commenting on the fact that these guys moon you. <laughs> I forgot about these enemies, okay? Well, I, I feel... Look, I feel like if it's the one... If it's the kind of thing that we... If we don't talk about it, it doesn't happen, you know. That's the kind of logic we're operating on. No, I know, but I because just feel when that you, when, you th when you think when you think about it, we don't want to be cancelled by YouTube, or we don't want to get shadow banned by YouTube. And you know, if if we're the kind of commentary group that goes like, "Oh my God, they're showing their asses," well, we are we already screwed yeah. up, you know. And and I, I I don't want to be the one causing our channel to get shadow banned, you know. I don't think they would. Oh, they would. Hey, Spyro. Sparks the dragon. <laughs> we gotta be careful. Good job Holy fuck, how, how sure heavy do you think that guy is? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like how they had had stomach bouncing noise for his for his stomach. <laughs> yeah, but at at the risk of you know sounding like that guy, you know that somebody was in, was particularly happy yeah. that they mm -hmm. put it in. Yeah. In this episode, the the writers undescribed undescribed fetish. <laughs> no, no, I I think the meme you're talking about is um, the writers barely described fetish. Barely, thank uh, you, fetish. thank you. I couldn't I couldn't think of it at the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of glad they got this world out of the way, because I think Peacekeepers has the worst design of the worlds. You think so? Well, that or Beastmakers. You really think so? Yeah, it's like... Desert... Des uh, desert outcropping is really boring. Yeah. And it's like... Mm, it just looks... feels barren. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so now the real question is, are you going to start us off strong? No, you're not. You're Okay, we're not doing the, the flight level. <laughs> no. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, on one hand, we might as well get it over with now so we don't have to suffer in the future. On the other hand, I don't know. No, the, the flight stages content are always content. before well the boss. Done, yeah, the I always did that too, honestly, you. you. Even for, even for two and three. Some? Just mm -hmm. toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Also, interesting note, the water in this little area was actually pure blue in the original. I don't know why they made it the Tari Gunk in, like, the rest of the world. Um... I mean, maybe, maybe because if you make it blue, you create the illusion that... Yeah, it, it's fine. You can swim in me, and if, if yeah. the if it's oh, like you purple, say that, but it's like I I have a bone to pick pick when we when we do the second game. 
I have a bone to pick when we do the second game. Because <laughs> the second game introduced swimming. Yes. Right? Yes, there's yes. The second game introduces swimming, and I'll say it right now. I hate what they do with the water in the remake. Oh yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking. The water looks like shit. Yeah. Cause in the original, the water is clear and bluey, so you can see the inside. In the in the reignited trilogy. The water has a has like a little bit of um, fog, foggy, gunky-ish. Mega muck. And it's like, <laughs> what? Mega muck. I was calling it the substance that like uh like you know like they call like that purple stuff in like the Sonic games like chemical plant zone. That's what they call that purple gunk. No, no. We'll, we'll see. Well, like, we'll, I mean, we'll talk they, more the about thing, it in the, the second game. Can... Right. But go ahead, Edgy. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I was just, um, I mean, I, I don't know, like, chemical plant. It, like, on one hand, you know, D-pad says it's, it's like, God, but, I mean, I, I don't know, like, in the context of the game, it, it acts like water, so, you know, monkey brain me just assumes it's purple water. No, it's not purple water. It, it's murky. It's murky when you look at it from when you look at it. So it's hard to see some of the stuff inside. It just feels really awkward. Yeah. Who made those guys gunners? Nasty Nork. <laughs> Are these cousins? Probably. No, I've never actually Maybe. fully seen that move. That movie. What movie? Spaceballs. Oh, uh, we have to watch that sometime, you. It's a classic. I've I've seen the ending and it creeps me out, but I also saw that as a kid, so I don't know how I would react to seeing that at the end. The um. Mm. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. When Barf basically has the alien chest burster come out of his stomach. It, it wasn't. It wasn't uh, Barf. It was like the uh, patient, like the guy next to them. It was actually. Oh, I thought no, no, it was. It, Barf. it was. It was, um, it was Barf. the same actor that they got from like uh, that they had like from Spider Alien, like the same guy that had the chest burster burst out of him from Alien. He reprised his. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, I never yeah, knew that. Yeah, because like okay. when it bursts out, he's like, not again. <laughs> and then he collapses. Okay. I hate I hate the death animation for those bird guys in the Reignited trilogy. Mm -hmm. Because they give out a pleading cry when they die in the original. And it's like, good. Then it's like, wow. You, we, what, we just disintegrated the bird in this. And it's like, well, haven't you heard of you? Yeah, gotta gotta make gotta make it more yeah. child friendly, you know. And as I've already mentioned before, a remaster it gives and mm -hmm. it takes away. True. Well, haven't you heard you? <laughs> Go back to England, twat. <laughs> what? Haven't you heard? Bird is the word. Oh God damn it! <laughs> no, I I okay, I Peter Griffin. To go back to England. <laughs> what was that, Edgy? I, I told Boris to go back to England. We didn't speak with a British accent. No, but I thought his name is Boris. <laughs> All right. I never got if you, if this you... as a kid. I, it wasn't until I have no idea when I actually first discovered this area. But I never got this as a kid. This was one of the two Incredible secret choice, spots I, I never got as a kid. Stuck here forever with those ugly vultures yeah, honestly, I didn't even know about these secret spots until I played through like the Rick Knight trilogy. I'm thinking, wow. Really? <laughs> yeah, because you know, I had like the short attention span back then. True. And I still do today. <laughs> I feel bad. True, but wow. That... I at least knew of it in the original game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, once again, I never played the original game, but I 
did 100% the, uh, the first two games in the trilogy without any, uh, without looking anything mm -hmm. up, so... Yeah, take that as you will. <laughs> honestly, um, when I got the Reignited, Tril Reignited Trilogy, I honestly wanted to 100% like the games. So, like, I was able to get the first two 100%, and I have the achievements to prove it. If someone wants to call me a liar, <laughs> not saying that you guys will. I'm just saying like if people say that I didn't do it, no, I have the achievements to. Well, prove it. I, I mean, who's out? Who's out there is saying that? You didn't get someone else to get the achievements for you. Fuck you. I did it. Yeah, Sparrow has the roll. I forgot that he has the roll attack. <laughs> and for some fucking reason, he has the roll in all three games. Huh. It's really fucking weird. So, but, but, but wait, then... How, do, how does it work? Because from what I remember, you can only activate the roll when you're standing still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does this guy have a bomb? He's an arsonist? I forget. Bomb. Not a can of gasoline, D-pad. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. Bomb, he's what do you a, think I'm going to do a, with this? Oh, I'm going to light things on fire with this bomb. Maybe he's going to... He's a freelance demolisher. Maybe he's going to uh, pull up... Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I can't do that joke. That's just a little... I don't want to get cancelled. Yeah, no. I always hate this jump. I always hate this mm -hmm. jump. I'm glad I made it, but I always hate that jump. Yeah, you know that somebody who's watching this is, is probably like... Sitting, sitting ass tied right now because he know how painful or she knows how painful the jump can be. Yeah, there are a few of right. those. I, I'm pretty... There are a few of those. Like, you know? It's not the entire trilogy. There, there are some jumps out there that can just absolutely... They're better in 2 and 3 when you have the hover maneuver, yeah. but not this game. Yeah, no. I, I feel yeah. they really should have had the hover in this game. I'm glad, though, that they introduced the I, hover. I would rather have traded the hover for this game than the roll in 2 and 3. I'm glad that they um added the hover for, like, the second one. The, the hover? Yeah. Rip those ridges where the hover was like I'm, I, That's what I mean. Like, I'm glad that they added it, is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, they're, like, at least three jumps that straight suck in this game. Yeah. That's the only one that's actually deadly. Yep. I remember playing through the original like that took me like at least four attempts to try and like get over to that. You actually can step on that, by the way. I do not know that. Jesus. I'm learning. Yeah, you don't need to jump. I'm learning stuff. You don't need to jump. I'm learning stuff that I didn't even know that I could do. <laughs> Just proves that you use better at this than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since it has been a long time ago since I played this game, how many dragons are there in this game? I can't even remember. Um, the top of my hang head. on, let me let me. Fake fan. Oh, fuck you. Uh, okay. Uh. All right. I think there's like Cliff 90. Town. It's a town with a cliff. That that's. Um, eighty. I mean, why 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 am I doing this? I'm I'm not the fan. You you talk about it. What are we entering? You said the joke. It's a town on a cliff. Cliff Town. <laughs> and to answer your question, Edgy, 80 dragons in this game. 80. Okay, I was off by 10. Okay. Yeah, so we're Poncho about halfway there. Big Mama. <laughs> I just love, love those. Flame the, the pots, because those, those have gems in them. Okay. Okay, I see that becoming a problem if you're playing like the original version, but okay, so I know we haven't talked about this, but Reignited Trilogy 
gives every game a pretty nifty feature that got added in, I believe, uh, the third game, where by pressing the right analog stick, your fairy buddy will tell you where the remaining. It's gems all are. for shoulder buttons. It's all yeah. for. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, no. It's right click. It's right click. And right Sparks click. isn't a fairy. In the original versions of two and three, it was all four shoulder <laughs> buttons. But in this, for some reason, it's right click. And Sparks isn't a fairy. But right click the stick. Sparks well, isn't a fairy. He's click in the right stick. Sparks is a dragonfly, by the way. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, so um, because of that, this game makes the journey to 100% completionism significant. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, this game wasn't that bad to 100%. Two and three, on the other hand, are, yeah, no. But this is honestly the easier of the three games to 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but still, the moment, the moment you have, like, over 100 collectibles, and I know that they're not specifically 100 because you have some gems that give you... You know, two gems and five, ten, twenty-five. But the point is, if you have like fifty plus collectibles scattered over what was at the time a pretty big world, yeah. you you know that some people out there had trouble, have some mm -hmm. bad memories with it. Yeah, yeah. So I am, yeah. So I do give credit to the fact that they do add the um. The sparks radar to to the first game yeah yeah i mean i personally feel like and i say this as a proud enjoyer of open world games i feel like they should have just put like 15 towers on each oh, level fuck you. right and by interacting with the tower all fuck the you. collectibles will pop up on the mini map so instead of actually seeking for them, it's just a, um, it's just a, sh a shopping mm -hmm. list. Fuck you. Hi, my name is Victor. I advocate for Ubisoft games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think I asked this yet, but what is your guys' least favorite game in the Spiral series? Skylanders. Spyro GBA 1. Oh, uh, Season of Flame? Yeah. In fact, I, I'm not really a big fan of all of the GBA Spyro games. Because mm -hmm. I don't like how, like, the fact that they go isometric platforming on. Yeah, um, yeah. On. Yeah, no. Yeah, but, but to be fair, I, I mean, I'm not going to say that it's the only thing they could have achieved on the GBA, but. The GBA wasn't exactly a power. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I would. I think we. Sh they should have just done what Vicarious Visions should have done. What they did with the Spiral games. You mean Crash? I mean with the Crash games. Yeah. Just basically a 3D model in a 2D plane. Yeah. Um. Speak. Would it have been bad for Spyro? Yes. Yeah. But I think it would have been a much better idea than just. Oh, hey, here's isometric platforming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and to, to be fair, you say you think it would have been bad for Spyro, but once once again, I think that even if Spyro had good games after the PS... Okay, that, that yeah. sounds cool. Um, but, like, I think that even if the post-PS1 games were a little bit more higher in quality, I think the franchise would still have just, you know went extinct at one point or another. Spyro had, an, in my honest opinion, had a much better post-insomniac life than Crash had for post-naughty dog. Yeah. Yeah, but, but there's still a reason why, you know, both of them... Yeah. No, I know. You know. But I think that the that Spyro got away with a lot, a lot better than Crash. Because at least with, um, you you, from here. You, even with uh, Hero's Tale, they still kept the same spiral formula. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, I was going to say, like, my least favorite spiral game, it's it's on the Game Boy Advance. It's the uh, 
crossover that they did with Crash, like the those don't count. Oh. Those those don't count. That's cheating, motherfucker. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna Pick say another game. I'm gonna say Hero's Tale. Okay. Like yeah, I like the humor in the game. I just just I don't like the designs that much. It just felt too cartoony, honestly. I don't like sand. <laughs> you know, you fall through that sand if you go off the cliff. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's actually bottomless pit. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. I learned that the hard way. Honestly, <laughs> it's fuck. It's really weird as hell that that they just outlined the area with just. Which is a sandy desert, but it's like if you fall off that cliff, you're falling through that flooring. You're falling through that flooring. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, yeah. honestly. <laughs> anyway, uh, where were we? What? Where, where oh, we? um, we're Spyro yeah. game. And, oh yeah. And D-Pad was talking about how he doesn't like uh, Hero's Tale. I just didn't like the plot. That was the PS2 one. It was right? for uh, PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox. Yeah. Right. And granted, Tara Strong was in the game. Really? Yeah. She was. Um, I think of the name. Uh, she was Ember. That one dragon that was like obsessed with Spiral that wanted to get married to Spiral. Oh, okay. So she was an OC. Okay. Yep. Did she at least use the Oops. 2D voice? Um, honestly, listen to it. I think it was more like her uh, Bubbles voice. Which that's close to 2D. Okay, yep. good. And it was it was. But that was before she became a. Yep. And uh, 2D yeah, wasn't 2D wasn't um, Tara Strong, by the way. It was Grey Delise. Oh right, I, oh right, I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, she voices way too many characters in Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, she, uh, Tara Strong really didn't voice any like didn't, didn't voice much characters. It was Grey Delise that did, yeah. Except for Timmy. Well, yeah. no, I mean, I mean, Grey Delise. Yeah, yeah. Or Grey Griffin, I guess her name is now. She was way too many characters in that yeah, show. Yeah, she does. Uh, yeah, honestly, and I forgot that Tara Strong voiced Timmy. <laughs> Until who vo voiced who? I forgot that Tara Strong voiced uh, Timmy Turner. <laughs> honestly, just, just, just like, I did not know that until like... How do you forget that she voiced the main character? To be fair, in my defense, I haven't watched Spyro in... Uh, sorry, not Spyro. I haven't watched Fairly Odd Parents in so long. So I forgot. True. True. No one gives a shit about Fairly Odd Parents anymore. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time ago since I watched it, but I'm pretty sure that I couldn't like give you a valid answer on it either, because the thing with me is, um, and this is something you're going to hear a lot of times, but I just want to remind everybody, I do not come from an English-speaking country, so a lot of the shows they're talking about, I don't have any experience with with the English cast because I watched it in Dutch. Freaking <laughs> Dutchman. So, so, so I I grew up with Timmy is gewoon een knul, maar niemand iets van kent. But yeah, they they of course don't know what the hell I'm saying. I mean they. Can probably make an ID based on the fact that I sang the yeah. the intro, but <sighs> blur. Hey, hey, you could also be have Shaggy and Scooby fuck the moose. What? I could also end the video right here. 